Hey YouTube, what's up? Gil Daddy here and Gil Mama. Uh, got a comment in my last video uh, about wanting a shipping video. So we're gonna go out there and we're gonna ship some shit. Hey, just wanted to say sorry we haven't make, made a whole lot of uh, picking videos this week. And mainly it's because, uh, you know, Gil Mama had a baby shower to plan and we, we still have a lot of stuff to get on eBay. And I mean, you could do what you want. If you don't wanna work one day, you don't have to. Y you make more money if you did, but that's just how it works. So let's go ship some stuff. I uh, got a comment on one of my last videos uh, by Samuel Parker. He said, I uh, would love to see a shipping video from you guys. So I decided to put up a quick shipping video on how we do our shipping and watch the whole video because at the end of the video, uh, we are giving out two items and uh, you only have to pay $50 shipping. To no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll ship them out to you for free if you win. But uh, I'll tell you the details towards the end of the video. Um, I am in my warehouse right now, or my garage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can see we have peanut, or peanut, that's our peanut bag, bubble wrap here. This is the big bubble wrap, the small bubble wrap. And then, that's right, that is a handle to a broom. So we do sh shit fancy here. Anyways, I built that, kind of makes it a little easier when you're rolling out your bubbles and stuff. Uh, but peanut bag, of course, I showed that in one of my other videos. We have about 46 items to ship out today uh, on this beautiful Friday. I'm not gonna show you all 46, so don't worry, but I am gonna just show you a few. So let's get to it. All right, and as always, forgive the quality. I am recording my computer screen without a recording software because I'm lazy again today and I don't feel like freaking doing it, so leave me alone. Anyways, uh, if you go to your eBay and then you click on your items awaiting shipment, you'll come up to a screen like this. If you go all the way to the right, you're going to see these little icons that say print shipping label. eBay makes it really simple for you just to click print shipping label. And I'm going to ship an item here. My internet cooperates. There we go. All right, so you can see right here uh, the buyer paid for parcel select shipping. And they paid $8.98. But if I go down a little bit, you can see that my cost is going to be $8.96. Now this is based on dimensions and weight that I had already put into eBay, just kind of a guesstimate. And I'm usually pretty dead on. But we're going to see here 2 pounds 5 ounces. You always want to click change weight and dimensions because you're, if you're a power seller like we are, you get shipping discounts on Priority Express, also international shipping. So if you're not shipping international, you better do it because you make extra money because people pay the actual international shipping rate, but you get a discount on the international shipping rate, so you make more money on the stuff you're sending. All right, so let me kind of show you here. It shows here $8.98, and that's as long as my estimate is right, and I'm pretty sure it's right in there within 10 ounces or so. Uh, I just kind of fill in a dimension, 12 by 12 by 12, that's going to give me a basic. When, when I list the item, I'll just put 12 by 12 by 12 if I know it'll fit in that sort of box because the, the prices are not going to change much from dimensions. The hell was that? I think yeah. Gil Mom. Oh, it's my kitty. It's my pussy. Don't worry about her. She likes to knock shit over all the time. All right, anyways, parcel select says $8.98. But I want you to pay attention here because it says priority mail is only $8.63. So even though the buyer paid parcel select, he didn't opt in for priority mail because his priority price was probably higher than $8.98. So he said, okay, I'll just do parcel. Well, lucky for me, I get a discount. So I'm, I don't want to pay $8.98, plus it's going to get there slower. It's going to go parcel select. I'm going to select priority mail. Now this particular item will fit in a priority mail flat rate, but the flat rate price is right here and it's 1065 so we're not going to choose priority mail flat rate but even better priority boxes they give you for free so you want to have all different sorts of priority boxes saved up that way you can put your item in there and you don't have to go find a box for it or anything so this item is going to be an awesome item to ship super easy so it's not really a large package even if it was it would be 863 we're just going to choose priority mail and then a lot of times I just hit calculate. I'm not gonna put the dimensions in right now because I'm just shipping. Gail Mama's actually gonna print the label. I just wanna see how I'm gonna box this. We're gonna hit save and see it change this time. 
8.63. There you go. So I just made money on the shipping because they paid 8.98 and I get it for 8.63. And guess what? It's going to get there faster, and I get a free box. So even better. Now usually I'll click purchase postage, but again, I box the items. Gail Mama's got her other computer over there at the shipping station, and she's going to take the box, plug these numbers in just like I did, and hit purchase postage. That's just how we do it. You do it however you like. But if I was going to print this label right now, I would just click purchase postage. Go to the next screen and then print it out. But let me show you the item. All right, guys, I got the camera on a tripod, so I don't know. I'll try my best to show you here. Um, I got two different boxes here. This one here is going to be perfect for this item. You see, this item is nice and skinny, and this is a free box that you can order on USPS.com. Um, but I'm going to use this box because I know I want priority, but I don't want priority medium flat rate because it's going to cost more. So I'm going to choose this box right here. I have another box here. I just want to show you the difference. They look a lot, I mean, they look really close to the same box. But this one here is a medium flat rate box. You don't want to put your item in here, otherwise you're going to have to pay $10.65. Which is still discounted because if the buyer chose medium flat rate, they would pay like 12 something. So you still make money on it if you're a top rated seller. And if you're not, you still get a little bit of a discount, just not as much. So we're going to toss this box and I'm going to use this box here. Okay, so let me go ahead. All right, so I've got the box made. You see the box fits in there, but it shakes around. You don't want this item shaking around. So I recommend you go to your post office and you get one of these. This right here is a roll of paper. Oh, post office, sorry. Newspaper company, not post office. Shove some paper down inside. I'll stick it down in there. See, so you have a little bit of a gap there. So I'll wad up some more paper and stick it in there. So there you have it. Your package is done. It's nice and secure. It's not gonna flop around. And then what I do, because we ship a lot of packages, so Gil Mama knows what's in here, I'll just, right on the front of the box where I'm gonna put the shipping label, I'll just put uh, digital converter. That way she knows what it is. And toss it to her. Boom! That's right, I'm not scared to throw the box around because we gotta test it first anyway, so. All right, this right here is another thing I'm shipping out today. Uh, it's a sewing machine. Um, this is kind of my setup right here. See, I got my computer there, um, so that way I can research the rates so I can tell if, if I'm gonna send it in priority or parts of post or whatever, and that will tell me what kind of box I'm gonna put this item in. But let me show you what I would do in an item. All right, guys, so I found the perfect box for the sewing machine. Let me show you what I did here. Uh, this is a sensitive item, and on sensitive items, I don't just use paper. I use bubble wrap, and if it's super sensitive, you want to use uh, packing peanuts or packed air. Um, you don't want to pack everything in newspaper, especially not an item like this, because this thing can get bounced around. First thing I would say to take note is that don't ever put tape on your items, okay? Tape is fine on the bubble wrap. But on your items, the person's gonna get the item and they're gonna say, I got tape goo on my shit. So this is bull crap. So don't put the tape on the item itself, just only on the bubble wrap or paper or whatever you're using. Um, have a tape gun. Number one thing, always have a tape gun. This is that little tool right there will save you a ton of time. Okay, so I am underneath my packing peanut bag. I put the box under there, and this is the most awesome thing ever. You just kind of wiggle it so you have enough peanuts in there. Close it up. All right, so now my item is in the box with a layer of packing peanuts underneath it. Um, a lot of times, if I have an item, I'm just kind of worried about it. You know, maybe the box isn't as thick as I want it or just whatever. If you feel the need to, you can reinforce the sides with pieces of cardboard. And I think I'm going to do this, do that All on right, this guys. item. So you can see I put cardboard around the inside. I might even put some on top of the very top when I, once I like cover this thing with peanuts. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're using uh, packing peanuts and you have like an item like this or an electronic that has maybe fins or holes or whatever in it, don't just put the item in there by itself and fill it with peanuts because they'll crumble and they'll get up inside those electronics and you don't want that happening. So if you need to have peanuts around something, 
always wrap it in some sort of bubble wrap or some sort of paper. You're not supposed to do this and the post office really don't like it. But guess what? These are free. So if I really wanted to, I could use these <clears throat> to reinforce the sides. Now, make sure that they can't see it through the package because if they catch you doing this, they're gonna charge you for priority, so. <laughs> Shh, super secret. Look at that. She's perfect. Look at her. Oh, thank you. It's a, it's a piece of art. I am. All right, <laughs> so if the box is, uh, if you have something real fragile, hey, never, never can use too much tape. Tape it this way, tape it that way. If you're worried about it all, man, tape the creases. Just fragile items, you really wanna make sure you get them there safe. More item here. Um, this item, based on the weight, the, the person paid um, for parcel select, and they paid $8.98. This is a, it's a fire alarm bell, but it's, it's a little heavy, but it just depends on where it goes. If it's going to New York, probably not gonna go priority, but just so happens that this one here is only gonna cost me, and I got some paper in there, you can see, but it's only gonna cost me uh, $8.08 .08 to ship this. So if you do it right, you'll make money on your shipping, especially if you're top rated. One more note, you guys probably know this already, but you never know. Um, of course, you can only use these boxes when you ship priority, okay? So just so you know. All right, this one right here, this is a Bissell hose, a part, is going international. And I want you guys to understand to, that you need to sell international. All right, guys, so one of the biggest reasons why you want to ship international is that hose I just showed you, uh, the buyer paid almost $23 for shipping. But because I'm a power seller, I get an international discount. And I only pay like $17 and some change. So every time I ship international, it's actually making me more money. Okay, do you remember when I told you I don't like doing drum sets? Well, if you watch some of my other videos, you probably know. This is why. I mean, it's so hard to find a damn box. I had to get two boxes, and uh, this is why Gil Mama doesn't do the boxing, because she has no clue how I even do this. But I took two boxes, opened them up, put them together. Now I gotta put everything in here and ship it out. And I hate it because you know, it took me like freaking, I don't know, almost 15 minutes to freaking package this box up. All right, so that's the finished Frankenstein box right there. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but that's how you get it done, son. Okay, so just a quick recap. Um, get your boxes behind grocery stores or, you know, those recycling bins behind stores. Grocery stores usually have the compactors. You need to make sure that you go out to USPS.com if you haven't already and order some priority boxes because when you do ship priority you're going to be using their boxes which is sweet. Also go to your local newspaper company and ask them if they sell their enrolls. Their enrolls for I guess the end of the roll for their machines or something. But they're pretty large rolls of paper and it'll save you a ton in shipping cost. Oh, peanuts and bubble wrap. Okay, bubble wrap is expensive and so are peanuts. Where do we get ours from? Well, if you know somebody that works for a larger company and they use peanuts or bubble wrap, or they can order peanuts and bubble wrap, ask your friends, or if you work somewhere where they use but peanuts and bubble wrap, chances are they get a really good rate on it. And if you know somebody, you can ask them to order, order you a roll or two or some peanuts, and you can get it a lot cheaper. Otherwise, you're going to be paying a lot of money for it. Or if you get really lucky and you know a company that gets a lot of packages in and they just throw out their peanuts, you can go to them and ask them if they can bag them up and then either you'll buy them from them or sometimes they'll just give them to you for free at no cost. And you can get lots of packed air that way, lots of peanuts, um, but that's pretty much it. All right, so I told you guys we were gonna do a giveaway and we are, but I'm not putting it in this video. I'm gonna put it in a separate video and I'll put a link somewhere on the screen here. Click the link and you'll be taken to the giveaway.